Oh, hi guys. Here's a quick little tutorial on how to make a repeating pattern fill in Affinity Designer version 2 on the iPad. This is great for sublimation and printing for a start. So let's start with our blank clipboard art. 3600 by 3600 pixels. Make it transparent and no margins. Our blank canvas. Simple so far. Now draw out a transparent rectangle that would fill or fit a small mug for example. Close the blank for now and locate the image you want for your pattern. Now I'm going to load an EPS file and from this file select just the chicken. So copy the chicken to the clipboard then close the EPS file and from the files menu select new from clipboard. There you have your chicken. Now export the image as a PNG file. And I called it, guess what? Chicken PNG. Now for the pattern fill. Now that you have your image for the pattern, open your original document that you created and select fill. It's that strange little icon that I'm pointing to there. Don't touch anything else, just tick on that. While you're looking at that, you'll see right up the top there, there's a left and right facing arrow, and in the middle of it, it says none. Now here's the trick. In the type field, be careful. Don't use the drop down menu, but carefully tap the left arrow, and the type bitmap shows. As soon as you do this, you'll get a files pop up that allows you to select an image to use. And there's the pop up. That's the files option and it works just like files on your iPad does. In fact, it's probably that's what it's calling. Now I've located my chicken PNG. Now just tap on the chicken and you can see it loads. It immediately loads the object, but looks way out of proportion and is of course. No problems, just tap on the image area to adjust the pattern. You might have to draw those little handles in and you might have to tap in the center and draw out a little bit, oddly enough, and it sets uh, the tone. Now you can see that it's got a vertical and a horizontal bar there, so it's defaulted to a kind of mm, radial um, fill. But within a second, even less than that actually, almost instantly, you'll see a pattern form on your on your object. On the iPad it's very sensitive, but you'll get the hang of it. Adjust to how you want it and bingo, the job's done. Now on the PC or the Mac desktop, it's not this sensitive. You get plenty of time to wander around and find the image you want, put it in, adjust it, make it the right size, etc. On the iPad it's much more sensitive, so just be aware of that. Now, other things I've duplicated, there's just some hearts. Chickens or hearts from the shape tool, saved with a single as a single PNG, then used as a pattern. Too easy now. You can put that right around your mug. That's the single heart I used to make the pattern. That's straight from the shapes menu. Just a heart filled in with red, exported on its own, and easy as. So, thanks for watching this quick little video. Don't forget to subscribe and please share the video with all your friends. Share it far and wide. Be generous. <laughs>